Good morning gamers, Varus the Archer here, and today we have just a short little update with Hearth and Home for Valheim. This is uh, Iron Gate talking about the new food system that's going to be implemented once Hearth and Home comes into it. It's the reworked food system. In the game right now, the food roughly gives you the same amount of stamina as health, but in Hearth and Home, we have split food into three categories. A red icon indicates it mainly gives you health, while yellow means it mainly gives you stamina, and white means it's an even split. Let's take a look at something real quick, guys. I know what these three things are. This right here is boar jerky. Also, wolf jerky. Even split. We have also removed the food bar, and instead you'll see timers showing how much time you have left on each food before you need to eat more. I like Just that. Like usual, the icons will start blinking when they're halfway through. This new health versus stamina balance allows you to be more creative and varied in your playstyle. Mm. If you want to stay in your base to build and terraform, you'll want long-lasting food that gives you enough stamina to keep building, but also enough health so that you don't fall to your death. <laughs> on an adventure, on the other hand, you might want to aim for higher stamina or higher health, as this decision will now influence your combat style. <laughs> Join us next time to find out how. One last little snippet. They now actually have a bar with a number on it for your stamina. How nice is that? And today we are talking about the Hearth and Home Spotlight Health versus Stamina. Welcome once again to a Hearth and Home Spotlight. As I've mentioned before, Hearth and Home splits food into more distinctive categories of health and stamina. But what does this mean for your gameplay? We know that we have different types of players, and hopefully this will allow you to lean more into the playstyle of your choice. If you like to deal damage, you can continue to focus on eating stamina food, as this will let you attack more. Hmm. But, if you prefer to defend and tank, you will now have to choose health food, as blocking power is now based on your maximum health. Oh wow, okay. Furthermore, health also affects your new stagger bar, which you can see next to your viking. Oh, ah, so that's what that full, is. as that's when you'll be staggered. Oh, Prioritizing okay. Prioritizing health will let you hold your ground for much longer. Cool. Next time, we'll look further into shields and blocking. It sounds like it's really going to depend a lot on food, on how you want to play. So basically, you're going to have to prioritize what kind of food you want to eat for the playstyle you want to play. So obviously, more health is better for tanky stuff. And if you just want to be on the attack a lot, you want to obviously eat more stamina-driven food. But see, like, some of this stuff. What is some of this stuff? I know this is, like, the jerky or whatever at the very top. Tell me what you think in the comments below what you th guys think that type of food is or what food it is, because I have no idea. I couldn't even begin to guess. One looks like spaghetti and the other one looks like a roast. <laughs> so... So this is the third video of Hearth and Home Spotlight, and this is about shields and blocking. Um, and that's all it talks about. <laughs> so let's let's just watch it and then we'll analyze it after. Welcome to this Hearth and Home Spotlight, where we'll have a look at some further tweaks to the mechanics of the game. This time focusing on shields. In the coming update, tower shields will get a significant buff. Compared to the other shields in the game, they'll now have a lot more knockback. This makes this shield the best choice for you if you want to play defensively and have a higher chance of staying alive, especially against a large number of enemies at once. The tower shield is safe and slow, but with the new knockback tweaks, it's a good choice for a tank. The opposite of the tower shield is the buckler, as it offers less in the way of blocking, but instead lets you parry incoming strikes. Meanwhile, the regular round shields will continue to be a balanced choice for the standard fighter. Come back next week for a look at some of the new food recipes. Okay, the one thing I want to point out really fast, she is actually taking damage too, but I think they're in god mode, so I don't think it's really registering, but it's 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 going to be a nice touch because they get a little bit of knockback. She did talk about the buckler, which is just a bronze shield. So I don't know if there's going to be bucklers for every, like for iron and for the black metal. I don't know. Well, actually, if we look at it, it is a different color. It looks like it could be iron. So they might actually add in different bucklers for different metals possible because that is not the bronze buckler it looks like now there's going to be three different types of shields that's only if they make the bucklers for all the different metals so i guess we'll just have to wait and see okay so this is the fourth part of the hearth and home spotlight and in this one they're going to be talking about new ingredients that are new to the game so let's watch welcome to the fourth part of our hearth and home spotlights in this video we'll continue with the theme of food with Hearth and Home, we split the ingredient raw meat into three new variants. 
To make each enemy drop a bit more unique, the deers, boars, and wolves now drop distinct types of meat. Along with the new plantable onions, this unlocks a whole bunch of new recipes to make sure your viking doesn't get tired of eating the same food all the time. The cooking itself also gets an update, where you'll have to upgrade your cauldron with cooking extensions, just like with the other crafting stations. Additionally, the bread and the pie now have to be baked in the oven before you can eat them, so you don't have to eat soggy bread. If you're no longer happy with what you've eaten, you can now also have a quick snack of buke berries, and you'll soon be ready to eat something new. Just make sure your friends aren't standing too close. Join us next time to learn how we tweaked some of the weapons. Okay, a few things to notice right off the bat. First, they talk about how the meats get changed. This is cooked deer meat, 35 health, 7 stamina, cooked wolf meat, 45 health, 9 stamina. And it also shows you your current. You guys see that? Look, 30 health and 6 stamina for the boar meat. So there's now deer meat, wolf meat, and boar meat. So that's cool. There's three different types. There's onions now. Um, and then if we take a look here, this onion soup, some sort of shake. Okay, and that looks like a, a, a shish kebab. And then we got like, I want to say this is like some sort of chocolate pudding or something. It's some. It looks like some sort of pudding or ice cream or something. This kind of looks like a cupcake. And this is obviously a pie right here. Another thing right here, butcher's table. And I'm not exactly sure what you're going to have to do with that. Maybe you'll have to actually chop the meat. Uh, you got a spice rack here where you can hang up all your different spices. So they obviously haven't talked about that yet. This looks like, they kind of look like carrot seeds and turnip seeds kind of. And then over here you got pots and pans, which obviously things are going to get cooked in. These look like bowls and stuff like that up here and cups. And that looks like some sort of platter. And then they have a stone oven, which is for baking, I'm assuming. So not just the bread, you're going to be able to bake pies in there, lox meat pies, all that kind of stuff kind of falls into this category. Another very interesting thing they were saying was that they have these puke berries. Uh, that's what I'm going to call them, puke berries. So basically, you'll notice that you lose whatever you just ate. It disappears off of your food bar. So that is some very interesting stuff. In the next episode, they're going to be talking about how they've changed some of the weapons. We have some cool, interesting stuff. It sounds like that they put a lot of time and effort into this update. Not just about food, but they're changing the whole way the game works here. So it's going to be literally a whole new game after they bring out Hearth and Home. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below if you saw something that I didn't see and throw it out there. Or maybe I'm wrong with one of the things that I mentioned. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.